Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a foundation review for you guys. I am reviewing a very affordable foundation. This is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. It is pretty new in the game. I've been having this foundation in my vanity, but I've just been sick and I couldn't get around to it. This is what it looks like so far. So if you guys want to know how it applies and how it wears throughout the day, just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also hit the bell notification so you can be notified whenever I upload. Now let's get started with the review. I am reviewing the new Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation and this is what it looks like. The most important thing about this is it has a pump this is very important that it has a pump because I love the matte and poreless one but that one does not have a pump and I always struggle I always pour too much and it's just all over the place it's too messy and I love the fact that this one has a pump so they stepped up their game I got this in the shade 120 classic ivory it kind of looks like my skin just my skin is very light but if I put on a very light foundation, it's too much. It looks really bad. So I need a little bit of color and then I just blend it down to my neck. Saturated with color pigments that provide an ultra transforming effect in this long lasting foundation. The lightweight yet high impact coverage formula glides onto the skin for a flawless finish that lasts all day. So I'm expecting for this foundation to last throughout my work shift. I am going to work right after this, so it better last. It is oil free. It doesn't clog your pores. It's dermatologist tested. It's full coverage foundation with a seamless finish. It evens out and enhances. And it says it minimizes the appearance of flaws and imperfections. Even though it's full coverage, it's still breathable, which is what I love in a foundation. Since it is full coverage, I am going to put on a very hydrating primer, which is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer and Hydrating. I'm very dry right now, and my nose usually gets the driest. I hate it. So I just apply it on my nose and my cheeks, and then I go all the way down to my neck. For one side, I'm going to apply it with a brush, and on the other side, I'm going to use my damp beauty blender. I'm going to pump out two pumps, and then I'm going to apply it to my brush, and then I'm just going to start applying it. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Mm, it smells really good. It doesn't smell like the other foundations from them. This one has like a like a cherry smell to it. It is definitely full coverage. It has more coverage than the matte and poreless, which is great because I've been using the matte and poreless and I haven't been seeing a lot of coverage. Um, so I've been like applying more and more. Whereas this one, you can just do two pumps and you'll be done. I'm just going to apply it with the beauty blender in this area since I did go on to the forehead on that side. I actually like both sides. They look pretty similar. I do like the brush a little bit better. On a daily basis, I usually use a brush anyways. It hasn't oxidized on me. And if it does get a little bit darker, I don't mind. I usually blend my foundation all the way down here. One day, guys, one day I will get a tan. And you guys will see me with a tan. Because right now I'm pale AF. As always, I'm always pale. This is only $11.99, which is great. Um, for the amount of coverage that I get, I am very, very impressed with it because there's other foundations that are high-end and you don't get this full coverage, so, and they're like $40, but this one is only $11.99 and that is at Ulta where I got it. 
I'm just going to fast forward to the rest of my face, like my concealer, which I'm only going to put it my, under my eyes. And then I'm going to fast forward through the powder and all of that jazz. And I will not touch up with powder throughout the day, which is very hard, especially at work, because I always try to look my best. I am selling makeup, so it's going to be hard if I do get oily on my T-zone or something, or after I eat my mouth. But let's just hope it's going to last. I am done with all the makeup. This is what the foundation looks like with everything on. And let me tell you guys, I am in love with this foundation. Look how smooth it looks. Yeah, it's breathable. It did oxidize just a little bit, but not that much. It feels very comfortable. It's full coverage, yet it's comfortable and it's really smoothing out the skin. Um, it didn't emphasize my smile lines, which is a plus and everything else just looks flawless my forehead is not showing the lines that much the time is 11:52. i am going to try to do a 10 hour wear test so when i'm off like around nine o'clock i will do it the last check-in when i take off all my makeup and then just head to the gym so i'm going to show you guys what it looks like at the end of the day hopefully i'm not an oil slick but so far so good with this foundation I love the color it doesn't look too yellow or anything like that I will check back in around 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock in my lunch so I'll come back and just check back in with you guys I hope you guys are enjoying this video and I'll be right back with my first check-in later on hey guys so I'm back with my first check-in it is 4:30. This foundation is looking bomb still. It has not... Well, it did crease on me a little bit on my smile lines. And that's about it. My cheeks are pretty good still. They're, they're not oily at all. Just my T-zone, just a little bit. It oxidized a little bit more, as you can see. But I try to blend it down because I am really, really white. I know from like the beginning whether I'm gonna like a foundation or not when I apply it and towards the first check-in if it's creasing a lot on me I will not purchase it again or I will not wear it as much I love how smooth my skin looks and it looks flawless so yeah I'm pretty much in love with this foundation so far I'm back with my last check-in and the time right now is 9.48 it's been around 10 hours and this foundation held up pretty good I love the way it looks still even though I do look oily like I said I was going to look oily by the end of the day without touching up but I think it looks pretty awesome in my opinion I don't like the fact that it gets oily around my nose area um, and then a little bit on my forehead like where my bronzer is at but other than that, I like it. I like the cheeks. They didn't get really bad. None of my makeup from my cheeks came off, so that's really nice. And I just love this foundation. I got a lot of compliments from my coworkers. I'm going to give this foundation an A. Just because it's really nice. It gives me the full coverage that I need. It looks very smooth. 
and it lasted me this long it lasted me my whole work day without touching up and I think that's pretty amazing and this was only $11.99 just let me know which other foundations you guys want me to review and I will do that for you I hope you guys enjoyed this review as much as I did filming it for you guys and if you do want more foundation reviews just hit the like button please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching Break my...